Welcome to the Galapagos! We have traveled from mainland Ecuador on a short flight to the Galapagos Islands. For the next seven nights, we will be traveling around the western islands of the Galapagos with Gal Agents Galapagos Cruises. This is a luxury cruise and something that has been on our bucket list for so long. We are so, so excited to show you everything that it entails. Our cruise begins in San Cristobal before heading to the western islands of Isabella and Fernandina, two wildlife havens, before we then return centrally to Santiago, Santa Cruz and Seymour. Stay tuned for sharks, giant tortoise, penguins and a whole lot more. Okay, so unfortunately you're going to start off with some really boring admin, but stuff that is incredibly important when coming to the Galapagos. So, rule number one, when you look at flights on Skyscanner, the prices that you see will be the quotations for the locals. If you book those flights and then get to the airport, you'll be charged double because foreigners have to pay double for the flights. So we actually booked for an agent called Gala Agents. Rule number two, get to the airport three hours before. When you get to the airport on mainland Ecuador, you have to buy a ticket called the TCT card, which is $20 per person. You have to pay in cash and the queue for this is long and slow. So you need to get there in good time. You then, rule number three, have to take all of your bags through special scanners, which are scanning for plants, fruit, food, water, etc. Rule number four, when you arrive in the Galapagos, as a foreigner, you have to pay $100 in cash per person. So make sure you have that cash from mainland Ecuador because there are no ATMs at the airport and you won't be allowed in. So those are the four rules. After much anticipation, the day was finally here. The day we begin our eight day cruise around the Galapagos Islands on a luxury yacht. So let's check out our room for the next seven nights. We stayed on a few boats and I think this is the nicest room we've had so far. If you've checked out our other YouTubes of liverboards, you'll know that this is a luxury compared to some of the ones we've stayed on. And uh, this is a bathroom. I won't come in with you because there's only room for maybe one of us in there. There we go, we've got a fully functioning toilet. We absolutely have. A pretty roomy shower and we're fully equipped with electrics, lights, shower, we've got a safe. We've got a little bit of storage here. I feel right at home. Lewis is feeling right at home. After a delicious three-course lunch, we met our family on board for the next week. 16 guests, 11 crew members, and two guides, Fabian and Jose Luis. So we have had our introduction, we have had our safety drill and briefing, and now we are just getting ready to head out on our first activity. So stay tuned for that. Let's go and see the giant tortoise. <laughs> you actually said tortoise? Yes, it's the giant tortoises. <laughs> tortoise. Tortoise. Look on land was the popular spot of Santa Cruz, an island in Ecuador's Galapagos National Park. It's known for its sandy beaches and being the archipelago's tourism hub. Walking through the magma tunnels made from lava from the erupting volcanoes felt like something on another planet. After our time in the lava tunnels, it was time to meet the star of the show, the giant tortoise. The 
AL Chateau Reserve is supported by the Charles Darwin Research Foundation, which protects the giant tortoise. And these amazing animals are free to roam as they please. We could not believe how big these tortoises were and it's only day one and we're already ticking things off the bucket list. just at the giant tortoise ranch and it is epic. Absolutely. We've seen most probably like 30 huge giant tortoise and what's cool is they are completely free to roam absolutely everywhere so we've seen some on the road there was one in the park I saw earlier. activities for the day it was time to head back to our boat for the evening receiving our briefing for the next day an epic dinner some carp games and then back to bed ready for a full day of adventure so first night of travel and we are heading to the west island which means 11 hours of some choppy seas people are already feeling sick we are fine so far see you in the morning So last night we travelled from Santa Cruz to Isabella to around 11 hours. It was a little bit choppy but we were all good and this morning we have arrived at Isabella and we have just had breakfast overlooking the volcano which we'll show you in a minute. We're just about to head out for our morning activity. <music> Our day began with a mesmerizing morning ride through Isabella Island's mangroves at Marino Point. Our surprise this morning was seeing the penguins out doing their morning fishing, as well as our first encounter with three eagle rays swimming in the shallows. We spent this morning trekking across the black lava fields. We had never seen terrain like this before and it was made even better with the Sierra Negra volcano as the backdrop. Thankfully, one of the Galapagos' most active volcanoes stayed asleep for the day. So it's only morning number one and we've already got our first glimpse of hundreds of marine iguanas piling on top of each other and the shores of Marino Point. <laughs> Elizabeth Bay was our first glimpse of underwater life in the Galapagos Islands and let me tell you, it was absolutely mind-blowing. So after an afternoon of snorkelling, we set off on a sunset dinghy ride around Elizabeth Bay. We spotted more penguins taking their afternoon nap, as well as countless numbers of turtles and the famous flightless cormorant. Yeah, we're off to find some more giant tortoises and hopefully some cool yellow land iguanas this morning. Mm -hmm. I think then we get to chill on the beach, yeah, we have just, a little snorkel. We've just done our first wet landing, so we've just got off our little boat into the sea to get to the beach, which is a beautiful beach. And then this afternoon, going to do some paddle boarding for the first time. So yeah, big morning slash early afternoon ahead. <laughs>
lunch, Lewis and I decided to give paddleboarding a shot in Tagus Cove. We had some interesting company, playful penguins, graceful turtles, and even a cheeky sea lion. Been a bit wet there. What happened? So we just went out on the paddleboards and the kayaks around this little cove. It was really awesome, but uh, I fell in at the end. So the land here is pretty interesting. Don't laugh. So yeah, so the land here actually formed in 1959. So it was all underwater before this. And it actually like went up as high as you can see it now in a matter of minutes, which is wild because of the tectonic plate movements. And uh, it did it so fast that some wildlife that was already swimming in the ocean when it rose got stuck on the land and died. Already soaked, we headed to another snorkeling spot and boy did it get even better. Playful sea lions, speedy penguins zipping past us and elegant turtles were our companions in the water. Swimming with those penguins was a dream come true, making this day super special. Woo! As the sun began to set, we embarked on a hike up to the viewpoint overlooking Darwin Lake. The view really was absolutely stunning and it was a moment to cherish. Back on board, the evening brought a mix of briefings, cocktails, games and a scrumptious dinner, putting the perfect finishing touch on an unforgettable day in the Galapagos Islands. So today was the day we had been waiting for. As we stepped onto Fernandinia Island, we were immediately surrounded by thousands of iguanas. And these iguanas are the only ones in the world that can swim. So we're hoping to snorkel with them later today. So we are on our second island of the trip, Fernandinia. And there are just iguanas absolutely everywhere. I think you just said there's like 100,000 iguanas on the entire island. Look at all of these iguanas. We even had the most amazing welcome from this tiny two week old sea lion pup who was playing in the sea next to us for ages. Diving, looking for biology. Bernadine is like the best place to have uh, one of the biggest concentration of uh, marine uh, one. Among the incredible sights, we also came across a whale skeleton, a stark reminder of the wild beauty and cycle of life in the Galapagos. The scenery here was nothing short of breathtaking, with the vibrant blue waters contrasting with red crabs, black rocks, and iguanas nestled in between. If the land encounters weren't enough, it was the moment we'd been waiting for. It was time to go and find the marine iguanas eating algae in the ocean. We set off to Espinosa Point and it blew our minds. We had turtles, sea lions, penguins, and so many marine iguanas. This was the Galapagos really showing us all it had to offer. Heading from Fernandina to Isabella. 
We had another incredible afternoon, this time exploring Albermale Point on Isabella Ma Island. What made it truly special? Well, we got to witness three flightless cormorants having a blast in the water. It was awesome. To top it off, we were treated to a lovely sunset on our way back, adding the perfect finishing touch to our unforgettable day. Day at Egas Port, which is actually a spot where Charles Darwin was left for a few days on his own during his first voyage to the Galapagos. After trekking across the island, we were greeted by sea lions playing in the rock pools, which was an amazing sight to behold. magic happened underwater during our snorkeling expedition. It was our first opportunity to witness sharks in the Galapagos and luck was on our side as we spotted dozens of white tip sharks making the snorkeling experience all the more exhilarating. Since I met you, I feel unbreakable. to go paddle boarding but we opted for a more relaxed experience spending the afternoon simply unwinding on board. Later as the evening approached we gathered on the top deck to witness a breathtaking sunset. To our astonishment a female frigate bird graced our presence and as time passed she attracted the attention of six males all praying for her attention. It was an incredible spectacle to witness adding a touch of wildlife drama to our day. Yes, and so I did. Our day on Santa Cruz at Dragon Hill was nothing short of an adventure. It all kicked off with a sandy stroll along the shore where we were greeted by the heartwarming sight of two playful sea lions. Our journey took us to a lagoon teeming with marine iguanas and from there we hiked up the hill to catch a glimpse of land iguanas reigning supreme at the summit. The landscapes here were incredibly diverse, leaving us in sheer awe. Wow, this afternoon snorkeling experience was one for the memories. As we arrived, an excited sea lion welcomed us and continued to play with us for over an hour. Even when we moved on to the next snorkeling spot, it decided to tag along because it was unwilling to part ways. And at our second location, we were super lucky to witness the coexistence of sharks and sea lions. And we discovered a hidden gem, a shark cave where dozens of sharks waited eagerly for their next hunt. <laughs> on 
board again, we were able to learn some culinary skills from the chef, creating our very own ceviche to sample over lunch. So our next stop of the day was Black Turtle Cove, where we took a dinghy ride, weaving in and out of the mangroves. It was so quiet and peaceful here, it felt like we were the only people that had ever been here. Along the way, we were able to spot the blue-footed boobies, eagle rays, herons catching their dinner, and so many beautiful turtles. an extraordinary day, we were graced with an unreal sunset. Morning guys! So today is our final full day on our boat. I don't know where the time's gone, but it has been absolutely action-packed. Very sad. Sad. sad, but looking forward to getting on with our final day and there's still one more morning. Yeah, we have tomorrow, so three more big activities to come. Rabida Island was our first chance to try and spot the flamingos on land. We were so excited. As we rounded the corner of the red sandy beach, we were greeted by dozens of pink birds flaunting their beauty in the lagoon. had a special opportunity to visit the wheelhouse and briefly peek into the engine room. The captain provided us with insights into the ship's operations, giving us a deeper appreciation for the maritime world. Hat, the underwater world continued to blow us away and snorkeling here honestly felt like we had entered an aquarium. The water was so clear and blue and was unlike anywhere we've ever seen before. the chance to kayak allowing us to spot penguins and blue-footed boobies. So it's the final evening on the Galapagos cruise. We are here at the Chinese Hat in Sombrero. And we are a lovely little island. You can see behind us the beaches are amazing. And tonight we've got a farewell drink, last dinner. And that's it, isn't it? Say our goodbyes. We have a short little trip in the morning and then it's all over. But it's that time, but gonna make the most of the last. Actually, you stay here. 
He's wishing you a safety trip back home, and he hopes someday you come back to Galapagos Islands. Our final dinner on the cruise consisted of an amazing speech from our crew, cocktails, and an incredible summary video of our week on board the cruise, which was made by our two amazing guides, Fabian and Jose Luis. So our final activity on board the cruise was Seymour Island, or better known as Bird Island. And literally everywhere we turned, we encountered the iconic blue-footed boobies and frigate birds. We were really lucky as well to be visiting during nesting season, which meant we encountered loads of super cute bird babies as they began their journey into the world. interested in doing the same cruise that we have done or any of the others from Gal Agents then head to the link in the description on the video or you can send us a DM on any of our other channels. See you later! Bye! Welcome, Welcome to, to the Galapagos! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Galapagos. Galapagos! So we have landed on San Cristobal Island which is one of the two islands with an airport on. No that's not right. Just got back from the best snorkeling I have ever done in my entire life. Saw penguins, sea lions, flightless combo. <laughs> okay, good morning. Day number four on the five. No. Day five. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, to the the Galapagos. Galapagos. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to the, the Galapagos. Welcome to the Galapagos. Next seven nights, we are going to be on a luxury clue. <laughs> Rubbish. So it is our final evening on the Galapagos. Oh, for God's 